What's up, everybody? It's your, toy, it's your boy, the host with the most, the Double SG. And today, I want to continue the discussion. I really want you guys to learn about be kind to yourself to succeed. Right? This is kind of a new thing that I'm working on, just because there's some things that happened in my life recently where I lost someone who's very close to me because there are some stuff that I just didn't know how to deal with, and I realized that at the core of it is because there are some self-destructive habits that I have that I don't treat myself as well, though as well as I should. And this is something I think is easy to avoid, but difficult to unlearn, right? So that's kind of where I'm coming from with this video. Um, so I wanted to share a piece of my own personal history. So for those of you who don't re really know me outside of streaming, like I play guitar, right? I've always loved playing guitar. I played guitar since I was 13 years old, right? Uh, I've gotten to do all sorts of really cool things, meet some really cool people, and I remember when I was younger, I was very, I was always very excited to play the instrument. Uh, I got home, and that was the thing I looked forward to. Like there was such a long time, I never put my guitar in the case. In fact, I kept it on my bed, so that way the first thing I could do in the morning when I woke up was like play the strings and just hear it, which is why I have really good relative pitch. I like to think. So it was truly the love and passion of my life that was unique for me. Like, you know what I mean? There are people you love and care for, but they, at the end of the day, aren't necessarily the self-expression of yourself, right? They are not inherently a selfish desire that allows you to just be you. Like fighting games, you know, they're fun, but you're using someone else's tools, right? It doesn't do the same level of self-expression. So... Uh, as a as a young man, I was super neurotic with the way I played. It's like I mean, there, my longest practice session was twenty three hours straight, and every hour I would just take a new concept and I would just work with it, and that was it. That was enjoyable for me. I mean, I had the time to do it then. I didn't have a job and all that stuff, but um, so even though I love this, love doing this so much. I was also hypercritical of myself and I was a perfectionist right like things had to be the way I wanted or wasn't good enough at all so what happened was in 2017 which is only four years ago think about that it's only four years ago I uh, there was a guitar contest put on by Ibanez called flying fingers and basically what the con premise of the concept the sorry contest was was you would download this backing track and then you would write something over it, right? And you just be creative. And the winner got a $5,000 J Custom, right? Super nice guitar. I worked really hard at writing something, and I wanted to perform it and play it flawlessly. But I never felt like I got to that point, so I never submitted that video. Well, Congratulations, you are going to be the first people ever to see this video. So I'm just gonna... Oh man, I gotta like hide myself here. No worries man, give me a second. Uh... Alright. I'm gonna mute my mic here and...
my goodness, the trip down memory lane, yeah. So, imagine, of like, what that could have accomplished. Like, even if, even if I didn't win, just having that exposure of being like, wow, this, the possibilities that I left on the table because I was being too critical of myself. Like, you know, the part that I definitely, that what kept me from submitting that video was the ending part, right? I wanted to do this really interesting tapping part to where I do these weird polychords and then all the other stuff. But it felt like it was never good enough, so I never submitted the video. And that's the thing I want you guys to take away, is that you have to allow yourself to take chances. You don't have to be perfect. You always you just get better. And not put yourself down before you even give yourself the opportunity to succeed. Know what I mean? Like, it's a very difficult concept to, to express, but I feel like it's super important, so I'm, I'm gonna work hard at this one. You know, they say that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's true. You know, like, it sounds like an old cliche, but you're, because until you experience that thought process, you don't really get what that means. And like, you know, people look at this and they're like, wow, that, that's really cool. In my brain, at that age, I thought I was not a good guitar player. I'm like, I knew, but it was like an ego thing, right? And not like a holistic, like, wow, I I enjoy this and I'm actually pretty good. Like, I like the way I sound. Like, I always wanted to sound like something else at this point, right? I didn't feel like this was the correct sound, the right sound. And so... I never learned to like the way I sound. And now I can go back, which is really fun. I've been going back to guitar and uh, I'm finding old stuff and I l like the way it sounds. I like the way things are written. I don't think about the things I could have done differently. I'm like, okay, there's some nuances I can add now. But like, overall, I genuinely liked what was going on and what the thought process was. And that's something I've gotten through experience. So basically, like the whole spiel I want to lay across is that me being hypercritical and finding all the flaws in myself before giving myself the opportunity to succeed kept me from succeeding. So I want, I'm just going to reiterate this one more time because this is the whole point of this whole series of videos. Be kind to yourself to succeed, right? Whatever you got to do to make that happen, whether it's just, you know, I explained the concept of hot pinning, where it's like you write whatever's in your mind for 30 minutes, take a break, another three minutes, take a break, and just get all the anxiety and thoughts out of your head. Whatever it takes for you to develop a habit and thought process that says, I don't need to put myself down and I can accept how where I am and how I am to get to the next part. Find whatever that process is for you because that's going to be very integral for you to succeed moving forward. Whenever you feel doubt that, and you, you hear ego in the back of your head telling you that you're not good enough, that's when it's really important for you to take the time to deconstruct your thoughts, to allow yourself to, to be vulnerable, honestly. So, again, be kind to yourself. To succeed. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you in the next video.